Okay, now that that's out of the way, the first thing we need is our materials, which is right here. Material list is on their website with the step we're doing. I have already have all the instructions printed out for everything we need to do, and we need to cut everything out. So let's get to that. Okay, I now have all the pieces cut out and laid out. We're going to start assembling the left leg. Um, the screws I'll be using is the ones included in the box with the Maslow, so let's get to that. Okay, now we finished the left leg, we got to do the right leg, which is the same process except mirror. So let's get to that. Okay, just finished uh, making the two legs. Just want to quickly go over what I just did. The first thing I did was get the kicker out. I put the space block on the end. Um, and then I attached that 11 and a half inches from here. And then this space right here is one and three quarters of an inch. Then after I did that, I took the back leg, made it flush with this right here, put one screw in the top and pulled it out till it was uh, with this edge right here. And then that's it. And then the other leg is just that, but mirrored. Now the next thing we have to do is install the front cross member. So let's do that. Okay, now that's done, I am going to measure out where the back crossbar will be. Okay, I just finished installing the other cross member. Um, I'm going to use the, the diagonal pieces to measure the spacing in between them, and so I'm going to do that. Okay, next we're going to attach the bracing. Okay, just finished installing the braces. They weren't too specific on how they wanted you to put them on there. So I just lined up the edges here um, and then just did the same on the other one. The next thing we have to do is install the rear cross member. So let's do that. Okay, I just finished putting on the rear cross member. The next thing I have to do is put the two beams on the end of this. Okay, now that we have the beams attached, the next thing we have to do before we stand it up 
is to attach the top bar. So let's do that. Okay, we're done installing the top bar, so now we can stand it up. Okay, that's what it looks like standing up. One of the last steps before we start attaching the motors is to put on the plywood, so let's do that. Okay, this is what the frame looks like now that it's done. Um, there's a couple things that I want to modify, which I'll be doing in the next video, like getting rid of this gap right here I have. Um, and then I'm going to make these flush with this and uh, also remove this block right here. And that's it for this video. And Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out DIYHomesmiths.com. It'll have all the links to our social media accounts. And we also do make house plans, full house plans, for $20. And um, that's, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to tune into the next video.